Welcome to the Fox 17 Rock Interview. My special guest today, Marky Blues. I'm sure you know them, Marky and Rick Latina. Hey, hey. The, the leaders of the band. And I'll tell you what, you know, they've gotten so many awards. If you haven't heard of them, uh, 2014 Emerging Blues Artist, 2015 Top of Blues Female Vocalist. Women to Soar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the <laughs> Soaring Award. And you guys have gotten so many great awards over the last three or four years. And you just started here in Nashville back in 2012. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we started at the end of 2012, which you came out to one of yeah. our first gigs, and we don't recognize our lives. Everything has changed. Yeah, everything. So much. There's no spare time anymore. There's, there's we no. thought we were going to put together a little EP and do some gigs. Yeah, no. Well, you know, and, and you know, and your live performances, you know, even the ones that I've seen you guys at are just incredible. You know, you're so much fun, and the band's so much fun. The music's great, and you keep it moving, and you involve the audience, and it's really um, giving like a, a breath of fresh air to the blues. And and you know, you've got this brand new album out that uh, just came out in May, which the blues are knocking, and right there it is. And and you're already number six on the charts right now, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah, worldwide. Uh, number six on the contemporary blues charts. Yes. Yeah. right along with Joe Bonamassa and Eric Clapton. Yes. Joe and yeah, and Eric and we're keeping not, good company. Yeah. Not bad company at all. Not bad. And then and then your Pandora channel kicked off recently. We, yeah, we have Pan that. We have Pandora, Pandora just channel. Kick, kicked us off. Um, Both albums are on there, and uh, when we, you tune into it, uh, you can you can pretty much. Listen to everything that's on there. They play good stuff around yeah. us, so it's. We very thought they were going to pick up one song. They wound up picking up both albums, and uh, I just recently got a letter about our Christmas album. So we're which gonna, was a lot of fun. Which yeah. Yeah. So you know, because so your be first album was really Hey Hey, mm -hmm. and and once again an incredible blues album. Then you did the Christmas one, and then the new one that you just came out with this yeah. year. Now let's also talk about that right there is Hey Hey, and what what a great album that was as well. That was you a little know. more soul than this one. This yeah. was a little more Oh, blues. definitely. Yeah. I totally agree with you, Rick. Yeah. yeah, Steve Cropper came in with that one, and uh, we opened for him a few times, and he he pulled us aside and said, y'all are doing the songs that I would be writing today. <laughs> and then he got a hold of us in the middle of the night and said, I can't get one of your songs out of, out of my head. She's, can I be a part of it? Wow. said, I, I think we can beat the vocal on it. He, and he, I said, well, let me think about it. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So he took well, us we in. thought he wanted us to redo it. No, he and, wanted, but he us wanted to, to come produce in. it. So he That's took amazing. Us, yeah. yeah, he took us into his studio and uh, we redid it. That song is uh, "Baby, I'm Crying." It's now singing in a movie uh, called "Turbulence and Love." Well, now let's also <laughs> talk about it too, Marky, to where you guys just got tied in with some uh, TV shows as well yeah. with your songs. We got signed to a uh, a TV publishing deal. Three songs from Hey Hey got picked up, and three songs from Blues Are Knockin'. Wow. And the last song on that, Worries, just got picked up for a Fox TV show. It's a sci-fi thriller called Wayward Pines, uh -huh. yeah, starring oh, yeah. Jason done, Patrick. Done very yeah. well. It's a blues, <laughs> straight ahead blues yeah. thing in a bar scene. Yeah, and runs for almost two minutes. You can't beat yeah, that. Yeah, yeah we good. thought it would play like 20 seconds, but there's like over two minutes of our song. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was drinking. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And it's a good song. So, you know, and let's also talk about on, on the album, which, you know, the cuts are so great and you've got the diversity of blues on here but you've got two that really hit me hard to where be my train which you were uh, that's a tribute to little milton mm -hmm. and then you have lay down lucille which was a tribute to bb king so uh, what right. about those two songs uh well as, as you well know we tied in with bb king we lost bb king this last year mm -hmm. and we wanted to to do something just to, in his memory so if anybody out there is a bb king fan and you listen to the song you'll recognize a lot of the lyrics because oh, yeah. they're his hits, uh, there's some of his lyrics, or there are his album covers, you know, album right. titles that I wove throughout the lyrics. It, it's, it's so, it, it definitely hit me, you know, listening to that Did one, you I'm catch like going, it? oh yes, I caught, I was like, every one is like, oh, there's a spark. Yeah, you know? there's oh, one, yeah. Awesome. What, a, what a great job on that. Thank and with you. the other one kind for a little Milton too. You yeah, know? those are fun songs. They go over great live too, They're, you know. We open them up a little bit more. So. Yeah, Little Milton Campbell's one of our, our favorite blues oh, men. Yeah, so yeah Little Milton. We had to do a little something for him. Well, you guys are traveling to festivals and everything all yes. the time. Let's talk <laughs> about your website. I know you've got some cool hats and shirts, and also you can find the album. Now, the album, Rick said, is available everywhere. Everywhere. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, including, you know, um, yeah. Amazon and iTunes, all that good stuff. I, Amazon, okay. and your website. Well, so let's Spotify, talk about your website. You name it. Uh, MarkyBlue.com, M A R K E Y. Okay. Blue.com. And that and that has all the tour dates and the albums and yes. everything. And uh, man, you guys got so much going Everything's on. Everything's listed. It's, it's hard to keep up with the website <laughs> because so much keeps happening. Right. <laughs> and and, and all the call, awards and the blues festivals. The web and yeah, this one's already nominated for uh, one, uh, we're nominated for the Sean Costello Rising, Rising Star, Star Award, Award yeah. for the Blues Blast. We're hoping to get a, a BMA nomination this year. And uh, 
it's also been put in for the independent blues board. So we'll see oh, what incredible. happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see well, you know, happens. And, and you and Rick have had such incredible careers independently, mm -hmm. you know, with, with you from Las Vegas, oh, yeah. and then here's a songwriter, and Rick with all the musicians he's worked with, you know, my gosh, it's like, you know, Gary Puckett and Clint Black and all of them. So it's, it's great that you guys have been able to pull this together into you know a project you know as rick was saying off camera it's fun to go out and play songs that are your own yeah yes and, and, and see so, people like them <laughs> I mean, that's even better <laughs> so it's got to be a great feeling to be doing you know as a side project you guys both started in 2012 just to blossom into what it is now yeah we had no idea when we started uh, we started writing that we could write so easily together you know so the writing thing is, it's so it's, funny it's both a plus. of us yeah. have worked with so many stars oh yeah so many stars over the years and it's funny because both coming from kind of a sideman position mm -hmm. to all of a sudden becoming a, an act you guys are the together. lead you're out front yeah it, it's been a, a, a definitely a, a transition yes yeah. a transition well a very but good one we're having a blast yeah, yeah and it shows it shows in your live performance be sure and check out Marky and Rick Latina, Marky Blue, and pick up a copy. The Blues are knocking their brand new album out, and uh, there may be a new live album coming out in the future. There There's are talk talks. about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There could so, be. so maybe I can get them back on the Rock and Review again in the future. But be sure and check out my friends, Marky Blue. Thanks for watching the Fox 17 Rock and Review.